I watch disclaimer. It's laundry day. I made pancakes. The bowl got away from me. But I want to talk about this. I can feel gross. But I want to talk about this while it's on my mind. Um, I finished Tiger King season two, if you want to call it a season two. But I also watched um <laughs> King Richard. I think Tiger King is short enough where I can combine these two. Um, both on different platforms. Uh, Tiger King is on Netflix, obviously, and King Richard you can watch in theaters, but it's also on HBO Max, and HBO Max is such a beautiful app. Warner Bros. is such a nice place, nice peoples, that I think generous people, you know, they give us movies that are also in theater. I don't know what's coming out after this because this is one of the things that was in their like big preview of coming in theater and uh, stream at the same time. So I don't know what's beyond King Richard, honestly. So, <clears throat> so I think the first thing was uh, Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> but, alright, Tiger King. Um, this was more about everyone around him. Um, Jeff Lou, uh, I swear they were saying lobe, like earlobe, Jeff Lobe. Whole time is Jeff Low, L O W, well L O W E, Jeff Low, Low. I swear people were saying lobe, but yeah, it's about everyone around. Um, what's his name? Man, the Tiger King, Joe Exotic. Um, everyone around him how they were complacent and um, can't easily be implicated and if not just set him up for the murder for hire charge um, and how Carol basically won she she won the Tiger Wars she got all these people out of business um, to be fair a lot of people helped themselves out of business um, and it's just it's just crazy and Joe Zonic said it like the, the this whole industry is ridiculous. Um, just the idea you can have a private zoo is like interesting to me. <laughs> um, I think there's a bigger thing with like customs and stuff. Like people, how do people get these animals here and then transporting them? Well, that's probably easier once you're here. But it's just it's just very interesting. <laughs> um, but. <clears throat> it's, that's it he's still in jail um the show is even like it's some parts were dated like september 2021 which is like dang that was like eight weeks ago it's crazy um even mentions trump and like trying to get him pardoned and it was all the way up until the capitol right it's like dude hey that's crazy um but really, that's it. It wasn't really too much, like, bombshell. And supposedly the government knows that uh, Carol Baskin's husband is alive in Costa Rica. So it's like... <sighs> um, Really, that's it. Let's just move on. King Richard. Um, the movie is about uh, Venus and Serenium. Serenium. Venus and Serena's father um Richard Williams and just him like raising girls in in, uh, in Compton or Crenshaw one of the two and how like they coming up and it all leads all the way up into uh Venus first um like pick tournament <clears throat> like she went 63 and oh that's crazy um I've seen a lot of people talk about controversy. Like, why is this movie even being made? Why is it about him? It should be about them. And you don't even realize they have, like, a bunch of sisters. Besides, like, it's just, it's not just them two. Um, people act like you're glorifying this person who was an adulterer. And it's like, it's not, that's not good. But in the scheme of things, it's not bad. 
it's not like the end of the world. Like, this movie is literally just a love letter to their father that, against all odds, believed in them. He believed in all of them. He believed in them. And people making it like it's just all about Will Smith. And it's like, kind of, yeah, because that's how important their father was to them. Like, they didn't know about all this stuff. Like, it's from their point of view, kind of. Like, they didn't know all that stuff. And if they did... <laughs> it's still their father, you know? Um, never, like, mistreated them like that. Some people probably wouldn't say that. Some people would say, like, he worked them too hard or imposed his will too much. But they didn't see it like that. Like, that's their father. And they felt that his drive propelled them, helped them be better people, be stronger people. And it, he never, like, forced them to do tennis. Um, even to the point of, like, holding them for matches and, like, tournaments and stuff so they can beat children so they don't grow too fast and, like, be burnt out and stuff. And I just hate that people are turning it into, like, some Will Smith witch hunt. Like, why is this always about me? Like, first off, that's a lie. And everything is not ever about Man, you will never, you will be hard pressed to find a movie about a, a a a devotee father, black father at that. You'll be very hard pressed to find anything, any representation of that. And I'm so tired of these people talking about the movie. Like, why is like why and you glorifying him? It's like, just be, like it's it's even a bunch of stories where like women like abandon their family or like have to get a child up for whatever reason, drugs or just whatever reason, and then they fight to get them back. So many movies like that, and you get we get this is like the first movie where we get like a positive father figure and all we want to talk about is like adultery and stuff and i'm like <laughs> i can probably name up all the movies where it's even something on netflix called made and it's like it just shows women a bad women mothers mothers <laughs> well, women mothers just shows mothers in like a bad light and how they have to overcome themselves and the struggles of society and so many excuses to why nothing is their fault. But then you get a positive father movie and all of a sudden it's like, no, you're not telling the whole story. He cheated on his wife. <sighs> he also helped these people, his like the other siblings become like good students. I don't know that full story because I don't follow them, but he for sure. He helped Venus and Serena be number one. And, like, our Serena is easily one of the greatest athletes of all time. One of the GOATs of all time. People will argue she is the GOAT of GOATs. And, but, y'all y'all want to talk about some damn adultery? And y'all sit here and, like, cheat on your people every damn day? But y'all want y'all want us to watch this in a movie? Which really ain't had nothing to do with them. Like, that's the whole point. It's from their point of view, like I said. And it's, it's in the movie. Like, it was mentioned. Like, however brief, I don't see why something like that would take precedent over, like, him with Massey and trying to get them to the next level. Like, adultery is not as important as... Making sure that the kids stay on top of the school. Or like overcoming gangs. And adultery is not as important as uprooting their family and moving them to Florida from California. Like adultery is just, it's just not that important of a story. Especially if she stayed with him. It didn't impact the family like that. To where they, they broke up. Like they they split later. Like 2000 the movie takes place. At least, I want to say, 89 to, like, 94. <laughs> and they they had a divorce in 2000. So, that's not part of the story. 
you know, it didn't impact them. That part of their life didn't impact them. If they even knew much about it and realized what was happening. It's just... People do any... I don't want this to be taken, like, wrong. But people do everything in their power to tear down, like, positive male stories. And it just blows my mind. Like, you want people to have accountability. You want men... To have accountability. You want men to like um, be good, be good guys. You want men to not be sleazy, not be creepy, not be all the negative connotations, just negative things in the world. You want that. You want to be able to just do whatever we want to do, whatever in peace. So when you finally get something that shows in a positive light, shows like the good side of men. And it's like, all of a sudden, it's just like, no, we don't want that. That's what it was about. It should be about the William sisters. It is. It is. And to be honest, this is a, this is very much a Venus movie, which I didn't expect it to be. I, because there's so much material out, because they've been around for so long, like they're in their 40s. <laughs> been playing since the 90s. They're in their 40s. I think Venus is 41 and Serena is 40. <laughs> like, they've been around for so long. You can look up anything about them. Pretty sure there'll be a movie about them, too. This is very much like the origin story, you know? It's just... Uh... I don't like changing focus. This is very much... One of the most positive movies I've seen in a while. Just because I watch a lot of like random stuff. That's just what's out now. And it's not too many good movies that are out right now. And people are just tearing down good stuff. Like Eternals, which I haven't seen yet. But I've heard good things from the people I trust. Like it's just a bunch of good stuff out here that people just want to flood with mediocrity. And it's like Squid Game is not even good. That's all people talk about though. And when you get movies like King Richard, it's like, ugh. It's just a Will Smith movie. It's really not. Also, he gives one of the best performances I've seen him give in a long time. Like he felt this, bro. And you know, he really wanted to do it justice, and he did. I don't know, I'm just we get some positive for men, you know, that's not all, um, he's a cop or he's a gang member. He's a, he's a robber. You know, he's in a heist movie. He's got a heart of gold, but he's a thief. You know, <laughs> you know we get something like he's a father. He don't have a tennis background, but he advocates. He's like the first LeVar Ball, honestly. Just a positive father figure. Maybe he takes things into his hands too many times. He oversteps his own limitations. Yes. Everything is for his children, though. We get story like that. And people just want to shit all over it. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. But, alright, this is a rant now. <laughs> so, uh, um, pretty much better... I'm like maybe 80%. Um, 20% left to go. Obviously, you just heard I got a cough. Nasal still messed up. <clears throat> it's crazy. It's taking me a long time to get better. Getting old sucks. <laughs> um, but let's end this. All right, that do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate every single one of you. If you know, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Um, you can like, comment, even if it's negative. I might interact with it. Depends on how I feel. But I truly appreciate every interaction. I truly appreciate you watching this video. And happy holidays. Um, and I'll be back.